So prior to my pregnancy, I really didn't struggle with much acne issues. At most, I would get some hormonal acne around my period. I'll break out like in the hormone zone, which is like tends to be your chin area. And that was about it. It would pretty much go away. Then becoming pregnant in my first and second trimester, my face was just like, it was like a new face to me. And I had bumps and breakouts and it was also on my chest, my back, my shoulders. And it made me very self-conscious. And I just, it really bothered me because I just wasn't accustomed to it and I didn't know how to control it. And of course, things that I may have used in the past were not safe to use while pregnant. So I just felt like I was in limbo with my skin. And of course, being on social media and stuff, I felt very self-conscious and I really wanted to find the best remedy to kind of just calm it down so that even if I could cover it with some makeup, at least my face would be smooth enough that I could do so and I wouldn't have like all those bumps making my face look super 3D from the side, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to share what I did to get my skin looking as good as it possibly can right now considering that you know I am still pregnant and this is hormone based so it's not gonna go away until you know my hormones settle down. I have to say having freckles helps to you know camouflage <laughs> the spots that have remained from when I was breaking out until they kind of fade away I know it's gonna take a little bit of time but at least I can feel confident enough now to go without makeup and feel okay in my skin. Now on the days that I do wanna wear makeup, I make sure I remove it first with a really gentle makeup towel. And I don't have a particular preference, I just go for something very, very gentle. And now I'm using the Pacifica Sea Foam Face Wash. And again, this is just a really, really gentle face wash, no tingling, none of that action happening. And I just use a brush to really clean my skin completely of any makeup residue that may be on my face. So I would definitely consider this my miracle product for clearing my pregnancy acne as much as it has cleared. This is by Mario Badescu. I hope I pronounced that right. And when I first got it, I was using it but like a spot treatment. And it worked okay, but then I switched to using it like a really thin mask on my face before bed. So completely rubbing it into my face. And I'm telling you, when I woke up in the morning, each time it just kept getting better and better. All those little bumps that you saw in the picture have gone. And I, I don't get those like red pussy pimples anymore. It's just like really, really changed everything for me. So that is like the number one product I would say made a huge difference. So on the days that I'm wearing makeup, I usually start with this on my skin. It is a problem skin moisturizer from Shea Moisture and it has really great ingredients. It smells really bad though, I have to admit. So does the drying cream from Mario Badescu. It's not the best smell, but honestly to me it was better than apple cider vinegar, which kind of smelled like feet on my face. Um, so I guess with these sort of things, you, you gotta take what you can from it. On the days when I'm not wearing makeup, I like to use this face oil from Palmer's. I'm trying to get rid of those marks from the breakouts before, so I'm hoping that this works. And it's also the winter time, so I like an oil on my face now and then. So in addition to the drying cream, the next thing I would say is a huge help is water. Up your water intake. Because if, especially if you're taking prenatals, all these extra vitamins that maybe you were not getting on a regular basis before, it's probably going to shock your system a little bit. So breaking those down a bit with water is definitely going to help you and it just helps your skin in general. Lastly, I would say try not to get too stressed about your skin because it just makes things worse. Pregnancy is not going to last forever, so just try to focus on the good parts. There are going to be things that are really awkward. Aside from pregnancy, acne, I have a swollen nose and swollen face. And it is what it is. But you know what? It's not going to last forever. And there's a bigger purpose here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.